What's up guys? So we got the achievement system this weekend or I think it was on Friday. I was kind of, you know, doing other stuff on weekend. But I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit disappointment to me. And I kind of want to rant a little bit about Plarium and try to, you know, <laughs> say my piece about this because I feel like it's kind of annoying and they've been doing this a while. I've been talking about it the entire year, that every single quality of life update that we have been getting, like the tavern update, the, um, the item presents, like every single quality of life thing that we have gotten, it has been like copied from Watch Your Realms, but it's like a scuffed version and not as good one. And I feel like they are doing it on purpose. They're trying to placate the players. They're trying to copy the good parts from Watch Your Realms, but they can't help themselves. And they really have to nerf them and make it much worse than they are in Watch Your Realms. If we talk about the achievement system, I mean, this is nothing new or innovative. So many different games have this, like Steam has this for like every single game in the Steam, but many, many games do this. You, like, even if we talk about like unrelated games like World of Warcraft, you have achievements, of course, in that game. And basically in every game where you have achievements, usually they mean something. So maybe in World of Warcraft, you might get a mount if you do an achievement. Or if we talk about Watch Your Realms, Maybe you get the guaranteed um, legendary champion if you get a hard achievement or something else, title, you know, maybe maybe Raid could do avatars, like anything, but they literally don't want us to give, give us anything from the achievements and they are pretty, you know, they are, I feel like not talking about the specific achievements that they could add more variety to them and make them more interesting, like have hard ones to get. But where can we see? It's not giving me the list of the ones that I haven't gotten. Where where can I see it? But like, I don't obviously I don't have all of the achievements. Okay, now I'm now I'm looking kind of silly. I feel like here you could see all of the achievements, but I only see the ones that I completed. Well. Somebody is gonna point me, point it out to me where you'd find the missing ones. But there's some few that I'm missing, but there's nothing like insane, like, you know, finish platinum 10 times and you get legendary champion or something like that. That's what they should have done. That's what they should have done with like, you know, live arena, classic arena, all of these game modes. They should like basically add quest lines to those old content through the achievements, but they're not doing that. Like, a good example what they do in Watch Your Realms. If we put it to like, let's say, raid terms, that if you, there's an achievement that if you can get the normal mode 25 in all of the dungeons completed, then you will instantly get the guaranteed legendary champion. That's the reward from achievement. There's like actual prestige for doing it. It's not super easy thing to do actually, in that game at least, or not when I was playing it. And you get like an actual reward. So there's reason and incentive and there's bragging rights and prestige. We're not getting anything here. And you, you also get a second legendary champion when you finish the hard modes of like all of the dungeons. That's basically, you know, the dungeon system is a little bit different there. I think it's like 18 is, let's say, the normal mode and 21 is the hard mode. But basically that, like you would get two legendary champions from complete and the dungeons and it's not like you know two legendary champion this is is generally not gonna change like too much in the game it's not gonna ruin it it's not gonna stop people from spending but it would add some you know flair and prestige and make people care about <laughs> that kind of stuff but plarium is just being so goddamn cheap that they don't want to do something that you know would give us more rewards that's what it comes down to even though it wouldn't be that big deal in the end. And now, you know, who cares about the achievements? Basically, the only achievement that I see people, you know, talking about and caring about is the one where you can flex who has older account than who. But even for this achievement, you don't get anything. So, you know, it doesn't mean anything. And it's not like it's a big thing, you know. I'm a PvP player. 
I'm not like an achievement war. It's not my reason to play this game. To say that I did Dragon 25 five second, seconds faster than somebody else. I don't care about it that much, but it feels like they're not even, you know, putting the effort and trying to make it interesting and so on. And they just randomly also popped out this update and didn't really even talk about it afterwards or, you know, asking feedback or communicating us. And, you know, it feels kind of half-hearted and basically unnecessary. I mean, what people really wanted to do, like, people have been asking years for, like, more additions to like the player profiles but what they really say when they talk about that is that they want to do friendly battles in arena with other people and send private messages with other people that's what we would really want to have in this kind of you know system that's what other people do like not other people but other games you have profile you click on it you can see their achievements sure and then you can dm them and you know you have additional utilities we don't get any rewards from the achievements. Nobody cares about this. There's no reason to, because, you know, like I said, there's no rewards, there's no prestige, and you can't do anything with this system. There's no reason to click on anybody's profile. You can't use it to message them or anything like that. You can't, you can't like, you know, click my profile and check out my Rotos gear. At least then there would be some reason for this, like, let's say in World of Warcraft, you can check other people's, like, character builds on the armory anything like that we don't have anything it just it feels empty and half-baked and let's talk about a couple of the other updates that we got recently i'm gonna you know i'm gonna forget several because there was so many things that they copied from watcher of realms but another one is the tavern update they added this instant upgrade system which will basically use uncommon and common champions to level up one champion it's better than not having it but it doesn't do anything in practice what this system does in watcher of realms is that you click on this and then you choose like do you want to level up every single champion to three star that you have and then it uses you know the fodder champions and chickens and brews and automatically does all of that it levels up people with brews and then it uses champions as chickens and uh, levels everything up then you can choose level everything to four star five star six star so on and that means that you don't have to do like two hours of manual labor when we have champion training event you can do it in like 15 seconds and you're done you know we have spoken about this before that plarium really cares about the metrics and one of their favorite metrics that they always brag about is the um, how, how long time people play this game because you know they are making it long for us on purpose and making it annoying. Nobody enjoys, you know, manually clicking on champions and adding brews to them and, you know, level, like, you, you click random champion, you give three brews to it, then you move on to the next one, and then you do this to 500 different champions, and then you level up other ones, and then you do the same at four stars and five stars. This is super boring. It doesn't add anything to, get to the game. It just makes it tedious and time-consuming. In Watch of Realms, you can do all of this with one click, like completing champion training event 10 seconds, literally. Like you, you can do it faster than that. It's that easy. <laughs> it doesn't take any effort at all. And I don't think this should take effort. And um, another thing is gonna be, you know, the champion presets. Now, if you haven't played other games that do this stuff, this is definitely gonna feel like a massive upgrade. In raid, you can do like presets and instantly swap gear on other people this is is very nice but first of all i'm pretty sure i mean i've tried to look for it maybe somebody can point it out to me and i missed something but i don't think you can delete presets at all i don't i don't think there's any me mechanic to delete all presets there definitely should be one but more importantly this cost me like if i do this swap right now it's gonna be 1.2 million silver and meaning that you can't actually do this in practice even if you have the mechanic you can't use it because the cost is so big in watcher of realms it doesn't cost anything like you do like you do arena you put your best nuke gear on your arena champions then you go do let's say you go do fire knight 
you put your best gear on your Fire Knight champions, it takes you three seconds to swap the gear, and you don't lose any resources in doing so. Like, again, Parium is making it hard for us on purpose, and I understand that I guess that's what people are going for, and in a way that's the entire point of Gacha, that they're making the progression harder unless you spend money, and they, you know, then they try to sell you the solution of the problem that they created. But I feel like Parium is just, you know, making a big mistake here, honestly. Like, the game has good combat, the PvP is interesting. They should just make all of this UI stuff actually good and usable. Basically, just actually copy the Watcher of Realms methods instead of trying to make it trillion times scuffed version of it. And then, you know, focus on the champions, the PvP, add tournaments for PvP, make PvP more lively, or even, let's say, Hydra competition or whatever. Make people, you know, do events and tournaments for those stuff, and people will buy champions because they want to compete with other players. Now they just want the, the game to be as time-consuming as possible so that you have to play it a lot, and they want to drain all of your resources if you want any kind of convenience and they don't want to give it to you for free it's super frustrating you know i played raid for five years sometimes people question how long i played this game because you know i don't have the highest player power in the game the reason i don't have it is because i just haven't leveled up a bunch of random unnecessary champions so i have actually done a lot of that in the past year let's say but I was always careful with my resources and I wanted to farm dungeons instead of leveling random champions. But I have played literally from the start and technically in like Plarium terms even before the start because the like the game was I think I want to say maybe like six to nine months it was public but um, they were saying it was like beta and they didn't you know reset the characters from that and I started playing like I think maybe two or three weeks before official release so I have played technically even before the start of the game and you know I, I have been through all of this like since the beginning you know it's not like I haven't played this game I'm into it I have played it long long time but then I see these other games just doing some things better and there's no reason that Plarium couldn't do it. And, you know, I always call for champion rebalances and even nerfs. And I think that would make PvP a lot more interesting and lively. And they also say no to that. And sometimes they do small nerfs on champions, but very rarely do they actually make anything interesting. And they never want to nerf anything OP or, you know, game breaking and ruining. But instead of doing these kind of, you know, things that doesn't make any difference at all, like this player profile, actually go all the way and make the proper updates. Do this, add rewards to it, add messages, add friendly battles, any kind of other interaction with your clan mates or your friends and maybe enemy clans or whatever. Maybe you can, during the siege, maybe you can message the enemy clan and tell them that we, we are better in arena or whatever. Add, you know, Classic arena, the reset is in the middle of night for Americans, for whatever place you are from, maybe it doesn't fit your time slot, why can't we rotate the times during classic arena, maybe have it on weekends and also rotate the times, add some actual rewards to platinum arena, the rewards are 4 years old, they don't add any value to the game at this point, the only noteworthy rewards that you can get from there is the avatars, but outside of the avatars, you know, we, we need something new. They, they should add new item sets, maybe more shards or whatever. It doesn't have to be anything like, even like, um, it doesn't have to be shards or champions. It could be avatars, titles, whatever. Like, since we do have this, you know, profile system, the titles would make sense while you're at it. Same with, you know, live arena and a lot of the game modes in this game. They feel like the beta version and they miss all of the feeling that should actually make the game mode super interesting. Like in Live Arena, we should have tournaments and events all the time. When you start the battle, it gives you the game rules in the bottom right corner. 
but there has never been any rule sets in that. Like, they have the option, maybe they were planning to do it, but we have had this game mode for over a year now, and they haven't done any of that. That's the stuff that is actually interesting and would make the game more lively and progress it. We're just getting, you know, these small tokens of gesture that me personally, they just make me feel like, you know, <laughs> they make me feel annoyed because they don't actually do anything good for the game and they're wasting their time and so on. But yeah, that's my salty rant about the update. I feel like it's worthless. Let me know if you agree or disagree, but that's it. See ya.